Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Wayside School is Falling Down by Louis Sakar, Chapter 13. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Chapter 13. A Giggle Box, A Leaky Faucet, and A Foghorn. Every day after lunch, Mrs. Jules read a story to the class. Dana hated stories. The last book Mrs. Jules had read was a story about a pig and a spider. The pig was real cute and the spider was very wise. Dana thought it was a horrible book. It made her laugh too much. Everyone else laughed too. But the problem was that Dana always kept laughing long after everyone else in the class had stopped. It was very embarrassing. And sometimes she broke out laughing at a part that wasn't even funny because she remembered something funny that had happened earlier. John called her a giggle box. That only made her laugh harder. Once she broke up laughing in the middle of an arithmetic test because she remembered something funny the pig had said. There goes the giggle box, said John. She hated John. But that wasn't the worst part of the book. In the end, the spider died. Dana couldn't stop crying. And she thought it was so silly, too, because in real life, she didn't even like spiders. She squashed them all the time. John called her a leaky faucet. Somebody better call a plumber to fix the leaky faucet, he said. She laughed through her tears. She hated John. Once in music, they had learned a song about a dragon. When the song begins, the dragon is very brave, but then he loses his only friend, so he isn't brave anymore. He just goes back to his cave, where he is sad and lonely for the rest of his life. The song always made Dana cry. Every recess, John and Joe would chase after her, singing it. She'd run across the playground with her hands over her ears and tears streaming down her face. The bell rang. Lunch was over. Dana nervously walked up the stairs to Mrs. Jules' room. Mrs. Jules would start a new book today. She hoped it wouldn't be funny or sad. She hoped Mrs. Jules would read a boring story with no jokes. When she got to class, John and Joe were standing by her desk waiting for her. Happy birthday, Dina, said John. He was holding a present. It was wrapped in green paper and had a pink bow. But it's not my birthday, said Dana. Well, that's okay, said John. You can have it anyway, since I'm always teasing you. He and Joe snickered. Dana eagerly tore off the wrapping paper. Maybe John wasn't so bad after all, she thought. It was a box of tissues. John and Joe laughed hysterically. That's not funny, said Dana. She raised her fist and started to chase after them. Mrs. Jules rang her cowbell and all the children settled quietly in their seats. We are ready to begin a new story, said Mrs. Jules. She held up the book. It's called Stinky. Dana laughed at the title, then quickly covered her mouth. It's about a cute and playful skunk, said Mrs. Jules. Oh, no, gasped Dana. She knew animal stories always made her cry. The animal's mother would get shot by human hunters, or else humans would build a shopping center and destroy the animal's home. She hated humans, but she knew that was silly because she was a human, and so were all her friends. The only human she really hated was John, and she didn't think he was even human. Mrs. Jules read, It was such a beautiful day, Stinky and his mother went for a walk across the forest. Hi, Stinky, said Charlie the Chipmunk. Hi, Charlie, said Stinky. Come along, Stinky, called his mother. Stinky hurried after her. They came to a road. Suddenly, Stinky heard a noise he had never heard before. 
It was very loud like thunder. A car driven by humans was speeding toward him. Look out, shouted his mother. Stinky stopped in the middle of the road and stared at the onrushing car. He had never seen a car before. His mother pushed him out of the way just in time. He was safe, but unfortunately, the car ran over his mother. Mama, mama, he sobbed over and over again, but his mother didn't answer. She was dead. Dana cried. Oh no, there goes the leaky faucet, said John. He and Joe laughed. Dana sniffed and wiped her eyes, but the tears wouldn't stop. She just kept thinking about poor Stinky. What would he do without his mother? She wondered. Maybe he could go live with Charlie the Chipmunk, she hoped. She pulled the tissue out of the box John had given her and loudly blew her nose. There goes the foghorn, said John. Dana laughed into her tissue. She blew her nose again even louder. It must be a very foggy day, said John. The next day after lunch, Dana hurried up the 30 flights of stairs before the bell rang so she could talk to Mrs. Jules before class started. Yes, Dana, said Mrs. Jules. Can I leave the room when you read today? asked Dana. Why? asked Mrs. Jules. Because I hate stories, said Dana. They make me laugh and cry too much. You don't hate stories, Dana, Mrs. Jules told her. You love stories. I wish everybody laughed and cried as much as you. Really? asked Dana. She couldn't believe it. All this time she thought she hated stories when really she loved them. She was glad she really loved stories. Suddenly she made a face. Oh, yuck, she said. What is it? asked Miss Jules. What if I really love John too? The end. Thanks for joining me for chapter 13. Please check back for chapter 14. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye!